Hey, how's it going? I just I really wanted to take time to uh, talk about my Lyft experience. I had started driving, I think it was over the weekend. Uh, it was like two in the morning. I had started, cleaned out my back seat, got my car ready. And like the first night, the very first night, I made like 44 bucks. Uh, the thing that I like about it is very con convenient. You can do it on your own time. Then the next night, which is the Saturday night, I made 54 bucks. So it was plus the fare, what I got paid, plus the tip. So within the, the um, those couple of days, it was um, over, a little bit over $100 after tips and everything was included. But see, it was just in a, a four hour, four hours, one night of just being logged in, four or five hours being logged in on one time. And see, I have a, uh, I have a full-time job already, so this is something that was really just to get extra money, something on the side, but I really enjoyed the experience. You meet great people. Um, and like I said, it was something, I mean, great for me. I don't really have no complaints about Lyft. I just wanted to come on and, and do um, a, a review and a video on my experience with Lyft driving as just starting. And I just really think you can make some money and you just have to be patient and use wisdom uh, about it. I guess when experience comes uh, with, with wisdom comes with experience so with you getting in and driving you'll see what to do what not to do and take tips for from other Lyft drivers who have who are started driving but like I said there are things that are keep you um in the right place do you understand and it's I pretty much like it because it's on your own time and nobody can rush you uh people can people can tip you cash um I would rather people do it on a card because I really didn't know. I thought maybe if I was receiving cash that I was doing something wrong. I thought maybe um, it should have just been on the card. But most, a lot of people will try to tip cash, but I'd rather it be on the card because most people would have more money in a bank account. <laughs> so just like use wisdom with certain things and um, just be safe, you know, always, um, like I say, I say use discernment, even when people get in your car, because you have so many different people, just kind of pay attention. That's why as a Lyft driver, you need to open up conversation. Uh, you can catch people up in lies, listen to what they're saying, uh, the names also. Uh, when you pick people up, they have it to where when the call comes through, it's the name. So you always ask the name of a person. That's one way you can also be safe. Um I just want to really give you tips uh, uh, about the Lyft driving. And my experience was great just for those couple of days. So just say that Friday night started at 2 in the morning when I got off from my full-time job. Uh, did it from 2 in the morning. I was logged in 2 in the morning until like 6. You do a lot of sitting in between rides. So that's where a lot of your time goes, just sitting, waiting on rides. Uh, it was like 30 minutes in between before I get a ride. But when you get one, a lot of them come back to back so a lot of your times are going to come with sitting uh just waiting really so that first night that friday morning uh you could say made 44 bucks with the fare and the tips and then the, the next night which is saturday was 54 then that sunday i only had a couple rides which was 15 so uh, a little over a hundred dollars just something you know just doing it on my own time. So I just want to give you a little uh, review and my experience with it. So I hope this helps somebody. If you have any questions, just comment below and I'll try to do my best to help you. All right. God bless.